I'm not the most comfortable doing videos, but um, I think I know actually that it's been really helpful for me to watch YouTube videos and to read people's blogs about their breast cancer journey and um, how they have prepared for their mastectomy, um, what the recovery was like. And so I want to do the same. I haven't seen many people discuss getting a nipple sparing mastectomy. Um, so I'm getting that. And then I also have not seen many people discuss getting pre-pectoral implants. I see a lot of videos about people getting um, subpectoral with expanders. So I wanted to sort of document my journey um, with the surgeries that I'm having. I wanted to go over some things that I had bought for my upcoming breast cancer surgery. I got a back scratcher because they're gonna be um, testing my lymph nodes. So I won't be able to really raise my right arm or at least that's kind of what I'm expecting. I may be pleasantly surprised, but this just allows you to itch and uh, reach for things on your bed. Um, so anyhow, um, maybe I'm a sucker, but I fell for getting this. Um, this is a lanyard. Um, I'm probably going to need to hook my drains to this. Um, for you guys that don't know, um, when you have the breast cancer surgery, they put a tube in where they've done the operation and you have a lot of um, swelling and fluid building up. So they have these things called Jackson Pratt drains that sort of remove the fluid from your breast tissue and fill up little grenade-like looking um, plastic containers and then you're supposed to measure them, um, how much fluid is coming out each day and keep track of that for your physician. So anyhow, um, since they will be hanging here, this way I can clip them to around my neck to keep them um, up and kind of out of the way. So I got this lanyard. Um, I also didn't have safety pins, and I've also heard that you can safety pin them to your clothing. So I got this. Um, I had seen this online. They're called pink pockets. And I think that you can Velcro, no, you peel and stick these into um, shirts and jackets and so forth. So anyhow, we'll see uh, what works for me, but I figure it's better to have more options. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna have a sore throat from having a tube down my throat, but bought this. I've also heard that pain medication can put you in the need for this, which I don't normally have in the house. Got some lip balm. I've heard that I'm also gonna have a lot of um, medicines to take. So, bought this to keep me organized. Um, and then, I think it'll be good to have some extra cushioning where my wounds are. So, I have some gauze pads and some medical tape. Um, the other thing is, um, I think I'll probably get a bra from the hospital um, to wear for the first couple days. But, these are great bras by SheFits. Um, they actually zip in the front so you don't have to, you know, put your arms up because apparently that's going to hurt. Um, so you can just kind of put your arms into the bra, zip it up, and then what's unique about it is it has Velcro. So you can tighten each of the shoulder straps and then around the back you can also tighten um, the band size. So that's really nice. So got this, um, one of my sweet clients got me this, which is a pillow for your seat belt so that um, when you come home from the hospital, apparently the seat belt might be painful. So this way you can wrap the seat belt and cushion it so that it doesn't hurt your breast. So that was really nice. and. Um, then the other thing that they tell you 
is that you're not going to want to wear like t-shirts or regular tank tops because again you have to kind of put your arms through the shirt so i found a lot of cute tops that button up so um, just t-shirts that button up so i have a ton of tanks and t-shirts um, found a lot of great ones at nordstrom um, actually a lot of them on sale so that's really nice and um, this is something that my friend kelly had really recommended these are like little hoodies and they just they come in long sleeve and then I've got a short sleeve version here as well. Um, but when you unzip them, they have little pockets to put your drains. So that's gonna be really handy, especially that first week. But um, Kelly said she got like four or five of these and that they were just a really big lifesaver. So. Anyhow, I got two of them. I um, didn't really mean to get the long sleeve one, but they sent it to me by accident when I ordered the short sleeve. And you never know, the hospital may be chilly, so I might be really happy that I have that. Um, then for sleeping, because I think we have to sleep sort of raised up. Um, so Kelly suggested this wedge from uh, Brookstone. So anyhow, I will be sleeping against this. And then I've also heard that we sort of need to keep our arms, or it feels better to have your arms elevated rather than down when you're um, trying to sleep. So I got this huge pregnancy pillow that apparently I can kind of put behind me. And then um, I guess it would be try it on for you guys why not <laughs> so i think you can like lay back on it and then um maybe put your arms on here or something so i don't know i just figured if it's gonna make me more comfortable um breast cancer sucks so why not so got this and um also for the hospital got some little wipes to kind of keep me freshened up and I'll have some face wipes and they said to bring socks with like a grip on the bottom of them so I found these just at Target so anyhow so I have been shopping for my recovery and um, today is Saturday and my surgery is a week from Monday so I've got about nine days or something like that so anyhow, just wanted to sort of let people know um, what I have purchased and we'll see what's helpful.